Coming up, speed test with the Wolverine using nickel metal hydrate, 2 and 3S LiPo battery right after this. Alright guys, I have this all zeroed out and got it ready to record. Let me go ahead and take it for a quick run. I don't need much room because this thing is not very fast on this nickel hydrate. All right, then we'll jump there, come back. Yeah, not very fast at all. So let's see what it says here. 28.7, so 28.7. I figured it was gonna be just under 30. And not very fast, but I can't wait to try out the LiPo battery conversion. So let's try it one more time and do a quick jump. Bring it back here. It's got plenty of range. I think it has like a hundred meter range on this one. All right, 29.2. That's not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more test. There's 29.2. So let's try one more time, and then we'll try out the lipo battery. Bring it back. Yep, 29.2 you guys. So that's not too bad. I mean, it's better It's better than 20 or less. So I, I thought it was gonna be actually less than that, you guys. So, all right, 29.2. So let me go ahead and take this apart. I'm gonna show you guys switching over to the LiPo. Uh, where to where to take that tab and switch it over like I showed you on the un unboxing which I will put a link up here uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys anyways how to convert that over that way you don't burn up the ESC and that way I can run 2 and 3s so uh, next stop switching that over and then we're gonna try a 2s first so we'll be back all right this is gonna be the test of the lipo uh, 2s and 3s so we're gonna convert it over to lipo uh, battery so um, I have me a couple different batteries here out of a couple different vehicles ZD racing and then uh, DHK hobby out of my zombie so we've got the 2 and 3s battery with Dean's connector um, the reason why I'm showing you this I showed you in the unboxing I'll leave a clip up here in the top right hand corner of the unboxing I explain this a little bit here, but I don't want you to burn up the ESC. So I'm going to zoom in here. Let's see if I can get focused in without getting it too uh, blurry here. Hopefully you guys could see that. Um, but what I'm going to do is pull this little tab right here. You don't need you don't need this back one. That one's for reverse. But you're going to pull this little tab here. You're going to pull that out, and I'm just using a pair of tweezers. So here's the little uh, tab. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way to the right hand side here or left hand side here and you're going to plug it back in so now you have set it up uh, to be able to run a lipo battery so i just want to show you that so that way you don't just connect the light bulb light bulb uh, battery uh, when it's uh, when it's set up for uh, nickel metal hydrate because you will mess up or burn out the ESC, you guys. So I'm just going to go and run the the 2S uh, ZD Racing battery. It's a hard case. And I should fit in there. Let me bring this back a little bit so you can see. I should fit in there with no problem at all. So that'll go in there. This one's not very uh, strong punch because it's only 25C. So I'm going to try that just for a test run. Uh, also, I'm going to go and put the... Uh, zombie AD battery in there the three uh, s battery so this one's only 20 C as well so it's not a big punch either but it should make a difference uh, that should fit in there if not I can get the straps to uh, stretch around I also went and uh, purchased these uh, adapters here so it's taken to Tamiya plug I hope I'm saying that right Tamiya I can never remember how to pronounce the name right but uh, you can find this on Amazon so I will definitely uh, put a link there uh, it's affiliate link guys so you know if you purchase off of it off of it uh, it definitely help out the, the channel and to be able to get things like this as well uh, so I went ahead and uh, bought this you get a three pack comes in a pack of three and it's converting uh, from uh, Maya to uh, the Dean's connector so it'll just plug in like so 
and now I'm ready to be able to plug into uh, be able to plug into one of these lipo batteries now you guys so I got the short adapter just because I knew uh, the batteries I have uh, have long uh, cables on it so uh, it's like 10 bucks uh, it's under 10 bucks I know for the for these adapters you get a pack of three so uh, like I said I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can check that out in, uh, in case you do order one of these uh, you'll be able to order order these plugs here so you can run the Dean's plug so all right guys let's go ahead and take this thing outside and take it for a run Okay, I'm ready to run the 2S battery now. Uh, nickel metal hydrate, only got around 29 uh, kilometers uh, per hour, so wasn't very fast, you guys, but it was okay, I guess. So let's see what the 2S does. It, it did fit in there pretty good. I just put the wire up underneath the, one of the straps here, so it wasn't dangling around in there and getting caught up in the train, drive train. So let's go ahead and turn on the the meter back on here all right i do have satellites now so let me uh, turn this guy on and let's go ahead and get this thing started all right so now the gps should be going let me get the controller here this is 2s so get that on and back off the throttle there a little and let's give it a shot here see if i can get out of the sun a little bit here so the camera that way the camera is not uh in the sun here i may we'll go walk over here for a second i'm not looking at a big difference i don't think because this one only has 20 c uh, so it's not going to be a big punch battery i'll order some more uh, later on some with 50 to 80 c that'll make a bigger difference so let's check it out oh that's a big difference just from the from the nickel metal hydrate i could tell already i don't have a whole lot of room but hopefully enough all right let's see if i let's see if it showed up on here 32 you guys from 29.6 i believe the nickel metal hydrate to 32.7 let's try it again all right let's try it out let's see what happened here definitely a big difference 32.9 so we're just about to uh 33 so that's definitely uh a lot better and a lot more snappier than the nickel metal hydrate you guys so i'll give it one more run just to see me back up here a little bit more i tighten up that suspension a bit but uh you know it's still gonna be wobbly you guys whoa there we go hey at least it landed on its uh wheels i hate that bump right there i just don't have enough room there should be enough room here if so i may be losing a maybe one but 32.9 so that's not bad at all you guys 32.9 so let's go over here and uh let's put the 3s in there and see how it does I didn't get my uh, ESC cooling fans uh, in yet, so I'm gonna risk it and take a chance. I think it'll be fine because it does suggest uh, two to three S, so uh, hopefully that works out. I'll be right back and we'll put that uh, zombie battery in there. Three S, 26 milli milliamps, only 20 C as well on this one, guys, so. All right, wish me luck, guys. You can't see it in there, but in that uh, video, uh, the beginning of the video I showed you can see the two and three S and even in the unboxing I did I showed that so let's hope I'm gonna film this changing the battery out so that way I have it filmed if this thing fries <laughs> we don't want it to fry but just in case it does this 3s battery sits in here a lot better than that hard case so here we go all the powers off and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it right now okay I think I'm going to go and put this under here like I did the last battery. That way it doesn't get in any of the steering. 
and let's give it a shot you guys i hope this uh i hope this works out and i hope the speed uh, rate changes quite a bit i'm only going to do a couple passes and i just don't want to overheat that esc just in case uh, it is pretty windy and it's cool outside even though it's sunny but i don't want to take a chance uh you know not having that uh, fan i just uh, with everything going on in china right now it's going to take for a long time to get that fan in so let me go ahead and turn on my my gps meter here and get some satellites here got the satellites are back on i'm gonna press the record button here it's gonna record now all right here we go i hope this works out all right, I don't see no smoke right now. <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot here. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Whoa, boy, that range is really good, you guys. Look how far that is. All right, here we go. Man, wow. 45.7. Forty five point seven. Let me get in the shade over here. You guys I'm gonna start off slow over there. So I'm not hitting that bump Straighten out the steering a little here because it is uh, It's off just a little bit. I don't want to go and jump that and not be able to stop and a car comes around the corner. So let me uh, Let me get over here. Wow This thing is definitely fun on 3s definitely a big difference. Okay, let me back up. I got a little squirrely there Okay, here we go guys Full throttle jump All right gotta stop early if I had a little more room I think I could get more out of it, but so far 45.7 Which is pretty darn good you guys and so far it's handling the 3s pretty good. So let me go ahead and let me fill in here See how it feels here Make sure that oh, it's it's still cool still nice and cool it's just barely warm the motor's pretty warm but yeah it's not bad i'm lucky the weather's pretty cool right now all right let's try this one more time one more time i think 45 is all i'm gonna get because i don't have enough uh, room right here so all right one turn around here <laughs> yeah 45.8 that's it that's not bad you guys that's pretty awesome so all right there you have it we got 45.8 on 3s uh i'll definitely have to try this out somewhere in a in a big parking lot having that speed bump right there is kind of throwing me off a little bit so you're not going to get I'm probably losing a little bit. I'll probably get about 46, maybe 46 and a half, maybe 47 if I have a long enough room for those. It's got a little bit higher gear ratio in this one. So it probably take a little uh, bit of room to wind up to that 47, but I'm sure it'll hit it. So, all right guys, hey, not bad. 45.8, you know, that's not bad at all. Um, I'm, I'm, I can live with that. So not too bad at all. Uh, motor's pretty hot i took uh well as you see i switched batteries i went through all three batteries only had about a couple minutes in between for it to cool down but i do suggest in between to let it cool down uh when you go to switch batteries out but you know it's windy enough and it's definitely cool enough and the, it's getting plenty of wind in there because it's got a pretty big gap uh, between the canopy and in the inside here so esc it's cool cool as could be don't even feel it i can barely feel any kind of warmth from it so uh the 40 amp esc definitely can handle the 3s so uh i think later on i'll try to get into a larger uh parking lot so that way these higher gears have a have a chance to to get up to speed instead of hitting that speed bump over there uh, and then running out of room so um, i'll have to try that out sometime uh, definitely gonna go in uh, I gotta look for my other battery uh, one that's got uh, more than uh, 20c uh, for the discharge rate uh, discharge uh, rate so that way you can get more punch 
out of it uh, maybe go with a 50 to 80 C would be nice and that would definitely make this a whole nother little beast out of this 550 motor you guys so all right well definitely hit that like and subscribe button you guys you definitely want to hit the notification because i definitely got a lot more coming to the channel uh it's just a slow process right now because i'm still uh dealing with uh, a pretty bad back injury i slipped the disc so that's why it's taken me so long to catch up with all the products that i i have for review so uh but we'll get there a little at a time and uh so just stay tuned stay tuned to the channel and you'll see what's coming up next you guys so all right bang good thanks again for sending this out uh guys check out that playlist i'll leave the link up here again and you can check out all the trucks that i went and uh reviewed uh so you can have a look at uh, a little bit of everything there on the rc car side and in trucks so uh even submarine i even had the submarine on there um so Anyways, guys, all right, thanks for watching. God bless, cheers, and happy driving.